what's happening everybody Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at saltwater scale models well uh, <coughs> excuse me getting back in the groove <coughs> after my last uh, after the Rubicon really helped uh, yeah, just getting one under my belt um, I just wanted to give a quick bench update I am currently working on two builds um, the 58 Chevy Impala and as you can see in front of you the 57 Ford Gasser which uh, I am loving this Gasser man what a cool kit I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with most of you are probably familiar with it a lot of parts just uh, really having a blast with this one so I'll uh, you know I haven't made a ton of progress but I'll uh, I'll show you what I got going on um, one of the reasons I'm working on both is here in Atlanta I'm still dealing with some pretty pretty cold weather and the room that I uh, that I use my airbrush is not heated so um, I got as far as I could go with the Impala and which is pretty much where this one says where this one's at except the wheels are mounted I'll, I'll do an update on that in a day or two um, but yeah I just can't uh, just can't spray so um, everything you're gonna see here I've hand painted and boy I've, I forgot you know before I had my airbrush I hand painted everything and uh, it is so time-consuming man it's um, you know just uh, it's really amazing uh, how handy and and how much better uh, uh, using the airbrush is but um, so let's get started um, basically this is uh, this is the chassis and the engine um, I've painted it uh, folk art uh, metallic pure gold um, the body this is going to be the body color um, it has been sealed with uh, Krylon UV clear cons uh, uh, UV clear uh, the UV clear tends to dry with a more um, it was a happy accident but it, it dries with a more dull sort of semi gloss I didn't want it to be shiny um, but you can get an idea of the body color uh, the frame is gunmetal uh, the engine is lipstick red these are all folk arts and uh, let's see uh, flat aluminum uh, Tamiya on the uh, on the gas tank but uh, yeah the suspension everything's installed uh, I'm sure you all notice and somebody's gonna mention I put the I guess it's the tie rod or tie bar got that on backwards but I don't know what I was thinking <clears throat> I just got distracted but too late now so I'm gonna have to live with it um, but pretty happy with the way things are going um, turn it over real quick uh, the interior is going to be it's a new color that I tried uh, it's once again folk art acrylic um, it's called uh, linen which is uh, I really really like it's a, a very neutral color um, you know sort of a, a light cream but but yeah, um, just uh, I just really like it. I think it's gonna be great uh, uh, the engine uh, the headers you can see I, I'm pretty much following the box art um, flat aluminum and then uh, titanium white I'm not gonna wire this one it is gonna be displayed uh, closed um, and uh, I've only got one distributor kit left so I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for something that I, I I'd, I'd like to sort of display display open but um, you know uh, like I said nothing too out of the ordinary you know um you know these builds lately I, i've really been trying to to work clean and, and do some shiny builds and um you know i'm uh, i think after these two uh the uh can't remember the truck the truck that i have i think it's a 39 ford i'm gonna do a ruster on it and uh and have some fun with that but um so that's where we're at with this uh what else do i got oh yeah you see the as far as the body here um i am going to use the pinstriping decals but I'm not going to put it on the hypersonic chariot uh, or the 440 I just want to use the pinstripes but um, uh, interiors gotten started uh, I made the mistake uh, not a big mistake but um, I didn't realize that the <laughs> uh, the the gasser only has uh, the front seat so but I went through the process of you know I was, wasn't paying attention again and uh, I did the uh, did the rear seat uh, taped it off this has all been hand painted um you know there are some brush strokes if you look close but uh, I'm just gonna have to live with it I, I can't just sit around here and wait wait for the weather to get better so I'm, I'm just doing the best I can based on uh, based on the conditions um, 
the seats are one of my becoming my sort of go-to interior colors uh cafe latte along with the uh with the um linen um so i think with uh within the instead of just making it all plain white i think uh you know, I think with the, uh, uh, this won't do justice, but I think with the gold, it'll be a nice, a nice touch. Uh, front seat is done. Turned out really well. Pretty happy with it. I mean, not perfect, um, but, uh, you know, taped it off. Uh, it's workable. It's livable, you know, so basically that's it, guys. A real quick update. Um, I will do another update uh, on the, uh, on the 58 Chevy Impala um in a couple of days uh once again um i'm just waiting to get some some good weather so uh hope everybody's doing well out there as always peace love and happiness my friends thanks to all my subscribers uh and and you guys commenting i know it was a little late uh responding to a lot of comments but um i got around to it and uh, i just really hope everybody's doing well and uh please stay tuned all right guys peace